Reflecting on her online course, Elfrida Blue describes how her teaching has adapted to reach more learners over the years. Now that I have an online course, one of the challenges that I face is that I don't see my class. And consequently, students are coming into the online course with many levels or different ranges of understanding about te technology. So what I have realized over the course of a few semesters of doing this is that providing them with videos really helps them to process how to access various resources. Um, I make a, a video and say, okay, this is how you find uh, the article that you need for class, or this is a video on how to post your blog, or here, watch these steps as my, on my screen to see how I might access Blackboard for people who are first time Blackboard users. So I have found that providing videos, particularly for my online course, has really helped students to understand the process of getting into things uh, relative to the course. I recognize students don't know everything that I think they know. And that's not to say that they're, they're not smart, it's just that I realize that w there are so many different layers of experiences and so many background knowledges that I can't account for. I have to level the playing field in my course and make sure that everybody has access to everything at the same time. Nobody has to use it all, but they can use what they need. And if they find themselves caught in a, in a in a lurch, they can go back and refer to the video and then they'll be able to move forward successfully. I'm not sure I'm reaching everybody, but every semester I add one more component so that I can reach a few more, you know. Um, before I had the videos for, my, um, for one of my courses to guide students through the process of learning how to access resources, uh, I had a lot of emails about, Dr. Blue, what is this? Dr. Blue, I can't find that. Dr. Blue, my computer's not working. But when I went through and added the videos, I realized immediately that um, students were becoming more successful and independent on, as a result of them. So I, I am very thankful for that. But I don't know. I, I, I think what I find myself doing is being willing to try things that I had not tried before being open to new options or questioning what I'm doing. I, I want to be a better teacher. I, I don't want to be the hindrance to stop students from learning. And I realize the goal is to prepare them for the classroom, in my case, preparing them for their careers. And I need to do that in the most expedient and most successful way possible. And UDL provides me with that opportunity to at least think about doing it better than I was doing it before.